you have some fissile nuclei. That means this is a nucleus that if you hit it with a neutron, the nucleus begins to distend and a piece comes off. And the smaller piece is about 30 or 40 percent the original mass of the nucleus, and the larger fission product is basically what was left over. And so what this leads to a, a double humped distribution in the masses of the fission products. On this table, you see the smaller fission product highlighted in yellow, and then the heavier fission product highlighted in green. And then there's this gap for a while where there are things that simply are not made by fission. Uh, tungsten, gold, mercury, none of those are made by fission. And then when you get to thallium, now you're getting to what's called the decay products. These are not formed by fission. They're formed when you leave uranium and thorium and plutonium alone for you know, hundreds or thousands of years, they will decay into these products. And those are shown in this chart in uh, a pink color. And then there is what's called the transuranics. That's what happens when the uranium absorbs the neutron and doesn't fission. It turns into plutonium and americium and curium and a few others. Most of it's plutonium. I mean, the overwhelming majority of transuranics are plutonium. 